All right, so today's practice is going to be continuing with the theme of getting more out of less. So we're gonna be repeating one movement for the hips and shoulders for the entire duration of the video. Um, so I'm gonna leave it up to you to decide when you need a break, when it's time to switch sides, you know, just listen to your body. None of this is meant to be aggravating or tiring, um, but we're just gonna run through a number of different things we might use this movement for um, so that you can get more out of one thing. Okay, so we're gonna start off laying on our backs with our one leg bent, foot flat on the floor. The other foot we're going to put in the strap. So one leg's in the air and both arms are in the air. But rather than holding on to the strap with fists, we're just gonna shoot the hand straight up through the strap, okay? Now, just notice your default positioning. Do you start with your knee a little bit bent, quite bent, perfectly straight? What are you doing with your elbows? Just to see what your body naturally comes to. Now, to start this movement, we're going to use our arms to pull the foot towards the head of the mat. And then we're going to let the weight of the leg start to pull the arms down towards the foot of the mat, okay? The movement's not big. You don't need to send your foot down towards the floor. You can notice how as your foot moves further away, if you go too far, that leg starts to feel heavy and you might notice some changes in your low back. But you don't need to make this a big movement. Okay, now we might notice the quality of the movement at the hip. How does it feel to move the hip ever so slightly back and forth between flexion and extension? We might also notice both of the shoulder joints. How are they moving? How does it feel? Do they feel strong in this position? Do they feel aggravated in this position? How does it feel to pull that leg towards the head and then be pulled back towards the foot of the mat. Whatever shape your knee was in when you started, does it bend more as you pull the foot in towards the head? If so, the back line of your leg might be really tight. Can you just bend your knee more in general and keep that same shape throughout the movement? Are you for sure moving from the shoulder joints or are you bending your elbows to pull on the strap, okay? Right now, we're trying to get both the bigger joints in the body moving in tandem. So we want the movement coming from the shoulder joints. So hopefully your elbows can just stay in whatever shape they started in throughout the entire motion. We might also observe our breath and link our movement to our breath, whether you inhale as the limbs move towards the head of the mat and exhale as the limbs move towards the foot of the mat. Noticing your tendencies, were you initially not breathing? And now that you are breathing, how does the movement feel? We can also take a moment to notice any tension in other parts of the body that maybe, maybe we're using as a bracing mechanism that is unnecessary in your face, your neck, your rib cage, your stomach, your pelvic floor, the other leg, the other foot. And finally, we might also use this exercise to become more aware of our torso, our core. The legs and arms are supporting each other with the strap. The movement is coming from the hip and shoulder joints. The spine is kind of just a channel of communication between those two areas. It doesn't really need to move. It doesn't need to be arching on and off the floor. Our body doesn't need to be shifting up and down on the mat. But is it? Just starting to notice what your torso does while structures on either end of it are doing something. Can you let it relax and soften? And how big of a movement, how small of a movement, how slow or fast of a movement 
do those limbs need to be making where that torso stays just nice and quiet on the mat, okay? So those are just a handful of things that we might use that one movement for, whether we're just observing reactions in neighboring body parts, whether we are observing or targeting movement at certain joints, um, whether we're just challenging ourselves to focus on our breath in different positions while different things are moving. There's a lot that you can get out of this one movement that doesn't really need to take very long. Once you're familiar with it and know what you're doing, it can be easy to incorporate into your day, but you can get so many things out of just one quick practice, okay? So I hope that you enjoyed that. I hope that felt good. I hope that brought your attention to some different things and I will see you next week.